Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now. And today I'm gonna take you through how to create a CI CD pipeline using GitHub Actions for AWS Lambda. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. And we are going to use Express, of course, with using Node.js. Okay, so if you are new at AWS Lambda, no worries. I'm gonna take you through from scratch to the end, from development to deployment. Okay, so what you have to do, you just need to uh, get few things before proceeding. Okay, so uh, let me show you quickly. Okay, you have to have few things available before proceeding. Just uh, simply search for AWS CLI okay hit enter you will get this very first link over here just click here and grab your package from here after that you will need another thing which is sam CLI. simply search for sam CLI. uh click here and this is the serverless for the serverless we are going to use this thing so uh, just uh, click here and get it for your system okay we are going to use this aws for uh, uh, to configure uh, our uh, credentials of aws through cli okay so this is it i guess no worries and we need one github account of course so we can create quickly new project from here and we can name it whatever it may be we'll get a suggested name super i'm not sure whatever it may be just click here uh, create repository this is it okay and quickly grab this thing you can uh, you can do one more thing like uh, let me quickly yeah maximize the screen okay here i'm going to create a new folder uh, on my desktop i'm going to name it whatever it may be let's say sam uh, sam cli uh, we are using that's why i'm going to use sam okay simply drag your folder here just maximize it close this up command plus j to open the terminal or control plus back take if you are on windows or like ubuntu i'm not sure though okay you can hit sam in it quickly uh, you will get uh, you will be created by uh, these two options uh, aws quick start template yes of course you can choose a uh, custom template as well it's all up to you so this is a very kind of beginner friendly video so i'm going to choose hello world uh, program after that after that you can go with python okay the lambda function uh, that is available for most of the languages but we'll uh, use custom uh, thing okay so you can choose no uh, so you can choose the other languages from here after that you can cho quickly choose uh, between those languages available languages i'll say eight i'm using java node uh, javascript uh, node.js version 14 okay uh, so i'll say after that you can choose this image so if you are uh, interested in docker containerizing thing but uh, these are uh, more specifically zip related video so uh, if for this tutorial i'm going to choose zip after in next tutorial uh, might be i'll choose this one okay so for that uh, we'll, we can you can use uh, javascript or typescript okay so we'll say javascript for the first okay you can name it uh, your project whatever it may be i'll say simply app will be better or sam app will be better as well simply hit enter okay what we'll do it will uh, it will uh, grab your, your uh, template from here okay it will take a while to grab this thing according to your internet connection till then what we can do is we can quickly uh, uh, open uh, aws okay i'm assuming are you aware about the im uh, rule if uh, like uh, let me see quickly what we can do here so here i am assuming you already have aws account available so simply search for aws okay uh, it will take a while i'm not sure though okay so yeah so inside i am uh, simply search for i am and uh, here in users you can click here uh, you can hover here and you can click here on users you will be greeted by this uh, thing you need to create a new user in order to get a access key and secret id i already have a username mahesh Kari and i already have access key and secret id i have already created so after that what you have to do is you just need to configure quickly from here okay inside settings you can click here on settings once you create a new repo uh, inside secrets actions you can click here and you can uh, quickly create a new repository secret okay i have got the credentials already so i'll get it from here okay so uh, just copy this thing paste this thing over here click uh, aws access key id paste this thing over here add the secret okay uh, make sure to use the same name okay so after that i have my credential secret key okay um uh, this is not the right way actually to show you guys my credentials but i'm uh, assuming that i have good kind of uh, subscribers okay so uh yeah don't mess with my credentials as well if possible okay uh, after that what we can do with uh, this is we just need to go to the uh, cli once again we have successfully created this thing uh, you just need to clear your screen quickly use ctrl b 
to see what's what we got here we have events inside that you can see uh, we have a kind of uh, to invoke locally we use this thing okay so actually for this tutorial we don't need this thing okay for this what we are going to do is we just need we just don't need this thing so i'm going to delete this thing uh, you can use this thing as per your choice instead of hello world i'm going to name it like this is my app so i'll say app okay inside template as well i need to change few things like instead of this hello world i'll say this is my uh app so instead of hello world i'll say this is my app control s instead of lambda handler i'll say a uh, handler only okay no need to specify everything after that this is my node version uh, the rest of the things are very easy i'm not uh, this is a path okay so i'm going to use express so which will be a dynamic proxy so we'll say proxy proxy and uh, method will be any i'm not sure about the method so instead uh, let me uh, do control minus and instead of hello world uh, i'll change all of the occurrences with the express okay so because we are going to create an express app as well and uh, in, uh, you can this the uh, api is going to create this url you will you you will get so instead of hello you can remove this hello okay onwards it will automatically concatenate your routes okay so after that let me quickly uh, remove this unwanted code which is not needed for this tutorial instead of this hello word as well i'm going to use f2 or change all occurrences you can say to express app express uh, thing but before that we also need to use uh, command plus j and we need to change few things yeah this is timeout timeout is uh, something that's uh, the function is going to take some time okay if it's not getting executed in three seconds it's going to uh, eliminate the things okay so you can uh, choose your uh, seconds from here okay you can okay uh, th this is just kind of normal cnf template okay if you are not aware about cnf please go through my another tutorial uh, where i have uh, explained very well about the cnf thing so okay for now we'll stick to the point and we'll stay uh, we'll uh, delete all the unwanted code the test cases is not needed for now so i'll uh, remove it the npm ignore i don't need for now so i'll say delete it and move to trash and i'll say in package.json as well i don't need this axios i don't need this uh, test case mocha chai and uh, i'll install the required dependencies from here control kw control b after that here i have a cd into sam app quickly and inside that i have an app so don't forget to change the location and here what i'll do is i'll quickly install my required packages like express of course and serverless so serverless uh, serverless http uh, this serverless http is going to uh, we are going to use to wrap the express so it will convert our express app to a uh, kind of executable a lambda function so for that i'll say module dot exports or module dot exports okay uh, after that i'll say handler handler and this handler will uh, contain the app which is serverless okay serverless app the app that we are going to create in a while okay so here i'm going to write a program like const express equal to require REQ URI require express okay then we'll say const app express app dot get quickly okay uh, where I'm going to use request response hello world or after that we'll say listen to this port after that we'll say nothing 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 okay so here you can say hello this is it I guess even though we don't need to write this thing okay listen i think so uh, it will take it automatically no worries for now what we can do is this is it i guess no oh uh, yeah http was remaining so uh const serverless is equal to uh require serverless http this is it this is all we uh, need to write okay now another thing once we have it what we'll do is we'll uh, quickly write git add get in it actually before proceeding uh, why we, we should go to sam app here we'll write git in it uh, we'll say uh, add the remote origin this one grab this thing press this thing over here hit enter git add all files okay i'm sure i'm uh, i have removed all the unwanted things i have used uh, made the changes all the required changes over here as well okay i have made this proxy chain 
yeah looks nice to me okay we can commit the code okay git add all git commit quickly have an m okay git push hit enter grab this thing uh, quickly uh, let me do it quickly test this thing hit enter this is done let's go back refresh this thing uh, inside actions we got the code inside actions just quickly go there okay choose this node yes you can choose any workflow by the way according to your choice we will uh, stick to the normal node just thing here what you can do is just simply de uh, remove this pool request you don't need to take a pool okay you can choose the version over here or you can test on multiple uh, versions as well so i uh, will stick to normal node just version 14 because i'm following node versions version 14 after that what you can do is quickly uh, remove this cache and this is not needed and we have a folder app inside that only we are going to do npm ci after that we don't need to do this thing instead of that what we'll do is we'll uh, create a zip directory because uh, zip file because we are going to publish the zip file okay so publish.zip that we are going to create from that app folder okay so from the current directory app folder we are going to select all the things and we are going to create a zip file based on that we are going to run another command and command will be uh, let me resize this thing uh, aws and lambda uh, lambda after that you will say update function code and that function code uh, you need to pass a function name and in that function name you will say app for now i don't know the function name once we uh, deploy uh, once we use the sam deploy from here then only we can able to do further things so you just need to configure aws cli of course i'm sure you have done this thing already on bigger AWS CLI. I already told you guys, but before that, uh, you just need to grab grab your AWS uh, access key secret and uh, grab this here. Paste your secret here once again. Uh, select your AP South one region. If you are not sure about this region, uh, hopefully you will get it from here. This I am from Nagpur, so uh, I am here in Mumbai. Let's say not in Mumbai specifically, but the AP South one is my region. Uh, so you can choose any region. It's all up to you, but uh, please uh, choose your selected region uh, default output format will be yaml or json you can choose any by the way so for now i'll say deploy sam so deploy this is it uh, it, uh, it will uh, ask me for the guided mode for the first time because it's going to ask me a few questions in guided mode i'll say the stack name will be uh, uh, express okay uh, us east one no uh, ep south one yeah uh, yes confirm the changes allow it to create a, a im role of course disable rollback no uh, because uh, it will roll back automatically if something goes wrong and express function may not have authorized it's completely bad no worries save the arguments of course save the arguments okay create a sam config terminal of course uh, default region this is the environment that uh, you are going to choose from your aws uh, config okay default is okay so after that it's uh, going to create multiple things at once okay s3 bucket and require the changes api gateway these are all the things that are going to create it from your cli only you just don't need to worry about opening your aws console or aws thing okay this is the beauty of this uh, chain set you can say so this is our chain set where this kind of things are getting created just need to hit yes and hit enter otherwise you have to create this thing manually and doing all the operation manually which is actually kind of a uh, very uh, lengthy process so uh, this is how we do the things i'm not going to pause this video <coughs> excuse me uh, so uh, you will come to know better uh, how much exactly time is needed to do such things okay here we go uh, so after that only we will get the function name <coughs> excuse me okay and uh, what we will do here here somewhere uh, we will write uh, file b zip file <coughs> why this is happening to me right now uh, zip file equal to file b okay uh after that you can write publish dot zip so this is it 
this is it this is what uh, all you need to do okay so for now we need to wait for this thing okay once this is getting and this is done this is done already and you got your function this is your function name uh this is your uri okay and you just need to grab this thing paste this thing over here and boom here we go uh so uh, make sure to log into your aws github action which is required so you will uh you will search for aws github uh configure okay just click here so what you need to do is you just need to grab few lines of code uh that you will get it from here somewhere this one okay grab this thing uh, this uh, uh that we'll uh, going to use to log in actually okay so here after once we do this thing after that here before doing uh, npmi or doing the options here somewhere we are going to paste the code okay it's going to configure aws credential after that only we can upload the zip so let me start commit quickly uh hopefully it will work for the first time only uh if everything is all right and uh till then what we can do is we can quickly take a pull from here okay uh, because we have made lots of things uh so git pull okay and here we go we got the pull and let me show you what we got here we got a github folder dot github inside that workflows and inside workflows you can see we have uh, this thing okay uh now uh why i took a pull because you can see the, this uh, orange little icon over here it means it's a uh, it's building something over here i forgot to remove npm cache already so let me see what the mistakes uh, we have uh, we have made over here this is instead of this function uh, we need to uh, write the proper function name so aws lmbda lambda update function code so i'm not sure about that so what we can do quickly we can go here and let me see the name of zip file so let's go here quickly control b and this publish zip is fine zip file name is nice okay express the function name is good so here what you can do is you can quickly search for aws okay lambda help so after that you will get the lots of options over here what you can do with your credit share the aws thing so here you can see uh, you can create function you can delete function you can get function uh, lots of other things so we need to update the function so what we'll do is we'll go here down and here you can see this update function code okay let me do this thing copy this thing hit q hit enter uh, and after that you just need to paste this thing over here you can say help okay after that you will get this function name you need to pass and zip file you need to pass this is it and after that we'll see if we have made any yeah function code is correct aws lambda is correct zip hyphen r is inside of app we have everything so i'm not sure exactly where we got the error let me quickly do control minus minus and okay okay the function is not found oh my bad my bad okay the function name that we got which was not right according to this so let me go back to function name quickly here okay so where we got the function name so now we need to go to uh, aws quickly and let me search for stacks okay and here once you uh, search for stacks uh, you will be greeted with uh, cloud formation if your internet connection is good okay so uh click here on stacks okay it's going to take a while because your internet connection is very slow always happens while uh, doing recording only and it's really very frustrating honestly because i'm doing this recording for of course I'm not sure how many times and every time i get n number of things now i um, anyways whatever it may be so these are the stacks okay that i have created and the recent one was inside my region actually this is my us is done so don't go here uh, let's go for ep south one mumbai very crowded city 
okay so okay inside express this is my express inside resources you will get your function role everything that you have created just created and this is your somewhere you will get the express function permission i don't need where is function here i'm not able to see yeah express function this one and this function you just need to get the name okay so this is my function name let me grab this thing let me press this thing over here function was right i'm not sure i have made any change over here no nothing aws lambda function code is right zip file is right let me do this once again rename field job not sure why okay it will Mm -hmm. now it's happening okay the zip file is happening the function okay one second us is to aws default region when i said us is to never env file okay uh here oh my god yeah oh my god it's ap south one okay and here we go this done uh done already so uh last thing just i just need to make few changes so we can test the cicd pipeline as well so app.js inside app.js quickly changes to hello world one so after once we after deploying this thing we'll get to know that everything is happening or not so git add space dot git commit hyphen m okay git push okay here we go done let's go quickly over there so uh, this is how you can debug as well if something goes wrong uh, i i don't want to pause the video that's what uh, i was looking for so everything went well and hopefully this time it will work it will reflect the changes over here we got i have cleared the screen already no okay no worries if you if you go here if you click here on uh, where was the api i was looking for the api actually i'm not able to see outputs in outputs will get the api yeah this one so this is my api if i go here on uh, and in, instead of this prod i'll say hello uh, what was the api yeah hello world one you can see uh i have made the change and uh, it was reflected over here so one last time let me do the two okay it will take a while of course git add git commit git push it will take a build time at least uh you need to wait for the build time once the build is done uh, it will uh, reflect the changes automatically so don't worry about that so let me quickly wait for this thing hopefully uh, everything is fine everything is working completely fine so this is all guys so thank you very much all of you guys for meeting with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box or not from my side uh, and definitely i'll make more such videos for you guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already don't forget to like this smash that like button thank you so much have a great day bye, -bye.